So Joe Biden's lead over Donald Trump has actually shrunken, albeit by just a little bit. But I mean, on average, he still has a sizable lead over Donald Trump. However, that lead has uh, gone down by a couple of points. But still, based on the current snapshot of polling data that we have, you know, Joe Biden is still looking pretty good. He's still leading where it counts in key swing states. Now, I'm not sure if we can attribute that decline to recent gaffes by Joe Biden. It's certainly a possibility. But either way, I mean, when so much is at stake, I get why people are freaking out. But, you know, Joe Biden really did get lucky in the sense that COVID-19 changed the dynamic of this election. Had we not seen an unprecedented pandemic and economic crisis, I think that Trump probably would have been reelected relatively easily. But because of COVID-19 and how poorly Trump has handled that, you know, it gave Joe Biden the edge. But where he has an edge overall in this election, you know, he's at a disadvantage in one key area that I think we should be concerned about if we're looking at, you know, everything with regard to this election. Um, so, you know, typically Democrats and left wing candidates, they are more organized than Republicans. But in this election, Trump is really out organizing Joe Biden. And when I say he's out organizing him, Trump's team knocked on a million doors last week alone. Joe Biden's team knocked on zero doors. Now, that's not to say that they're not campaigning. Like, I'm not saying Joe Biden has just like given up and said, you know, it's over. I'm going to win anyway. Um, they basically shifted all of their campaigning to digital, right? Now, I've talked to some candidates who are grassroots candidates, and, you know, some of them have just gone all digital. They're just doing text banking and phone banking. Some of them have said that, you know, they're they're knocking on doors still. They'll, they'll have their teams, you know, knock on a door and then jump back six feet. You know, but it depends on the amount of resources that you have. If you're able to hire enough people to do that when you're really focusing on, you know, digital canvassing. But I mean, Trump's team is finding a way to campaign during a pandemic and knock on doors. And those personal contacts that they're making... That really could change a lot here, which is why I'm not willing to say that Joe Biden's victory here is a foregone conclusion. And that in combination with the slight dip should have people worried. So as Alex Thompson of Politico reports, Donald Trump's campaign says it knocked on over one million doors in the past week alone. Joe Biden's campaign says it knocked on zero. Biden and the Democratic National Committee aren't sending volunteers or staffers to talk with voters at home and don't anticipate doing anything more than dropping off literature unless the crisis abates. The campaign and the Democratic National Committee think they can compensate for the lack of in-person canvassing with phone calls, texts, new forms of digital organizing, and virtual meetups with voters. At first, I was nervous, but our response rates on phone calls and texts are much higher and people are not necessarily wanting someone to go up to their door right now, said Jen Ritter, Biden's national states director. You get to throw a lot of the rule book out the window and try out new things. Trump and the Republican National Committee, in contrast, started deploying mask-wearing field staffers and volunteers to the streets in June. The GOP quickly ramped up and now claims more than a million doors a week despite COVID-19 surges across the country, including in swing states like Arizona. Republicans say their door-knocking dominance could make a difference in November, since in-person conversations have long been considered the most effective type of voter contact. From now to Election Day, voters Voters may only see one campaign at their doors, said Elliot Eccles, the RNC's national field director. If this were Barack Obama running, Democrats would want to be out there knocking doors. They don't have enthusiasm or a strong field operation, so it is a convenient excuse. We can do this safely for President Trump and Republicans up and down the ballot. Now, what they're saying here, I find to be relatively persuasive. There is an enthusiasm gap between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Joe Biden's supporters, or people who are voting for Joe Biden, aren't enthusiastic about him. But Donald Trump has more enthusiasm. Now, enthusiasm doesn't necessarily translate into votes. But is it one thing that we should definitely look at? Absolutely. Now, you know, the reason why Joe Biden's team isn't doing in-person canvassing, I don't blame them for that necessarily. I think that during a pandemic, I get the, the worry there. Like, if I were a a politician running for Congress, I wouldn't feel comfortable sending my team to knock on doors. Like even if they wear a mask and they step, you know, six feet back. I mean, I don't know the risk that that poses to their health. I don't know that I want that I would want to jeopardize their personal safety. So it's it's tough, right? But Donald Trump and his team, they're much more ruthless. They want to win by all means necessary. And conservatives, generally speaking, don't take this as seriously. 
So their team probably has no problem whatsoever knocking on doors. And that could give them the advantage. Because as they say here, you know, this is like this in-person canvassing. This really is what persuades people. When you have these in-person conversations, it changes the game. Because like, it's a lot easier to dismiss someone over the phone if you can't see their face. But when you actually see someone in front of you, you know, you're less inclined to be rude to them. You can't hang up the phone on them. I mean, sure, you can slam the door in their face and canvases, canvassers will tell you that, you know, they've had those experiences. But, you know, there's there's social pressure there that doesn't exist when you just talk to someone over the phone. And so that actually opens the door to more nuanced and robust conversations. Like you can actually reach people substantively in a meaningful way. And since that's being taken away from Democrats here and Republicans are capitalizing on their loss, this is something to look at. Like, if Trump is able to reach a lot of voters in swing states simply by knocking on doors, then that's something that could really spell doom for Joe Biden's campaign. Now, what we're looking at currently when it comes to polling, like, now is not the time to freak out. Like, I think that Joe Biden has a comfortable enough lead to where you don't have to start panicking. Um, but we haven't seen how Joe Biden is going to perform in the debates. That could change everything. If he face plans, if he says something stupid. I mean, there's going to be a lot of pressure going up in a one-on-one -on -one debate against Donald Trump at least three times. And you could face plant. That could be bad. That could change the direction or the trajectory of this campaign. So a lot can change. And I am not willing to say, you know, Joe Biden's victory is a foregone conclusion. And this here, to me, is really worrying. Now, I get it. Like, I, I totally think that their decision to just do digital canvassing is wholly justified. I get that. But at the same time, it's worrying because this is something that is really effective at persuading voters. So this is one thing to look at. You know, so um, for every door that Trump's team knocks on, Joe Biden's campaign is going to need to at least make like 10 to 20 more calls to make up for that. So, you know, this election is so different and, you know, there is no rule book. All of the candidates who I talk to say, you know, there there's no guidelines that you follow to campaign during a pandemic. This is all new, right? We're doing this by trial and error. Like you try something that works. If it doesn't work, you throw it out and you try something new. This is, um, yeah, this is something to consider. And I think that Democrats, even if they don't start doing in-person canvassing, they have to find a way to adequately, you know, um, match what Republicans are doing. And I don't know what the answer to that is. Like, I don't know if there really is any meaningful substitute to in-person canvassing, like knocking on doors and talking to someone is such a powerful way to convince people and persuade, you know, reluctant voters, not just to like support your team, but to get out and vote. So the fact that Democrats don't have this as an option, this election, I mean, it, it says something. It's something that we should um, not think of as, you know, the deciding factor, but it's, it's certainly something that we should consider. Mike is the worst progressive on YouTube. Please don't subscribe to him or become a patron. David Dole is so much better. Trust me, folks. He's doing a great job. He really is. Okay?